Hello everybody. Today we are making a video about... And I am ditching the accent. It sounds really weird when I do it. Anyways guys, today we are making a video about Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin's final goodbye. As you all know, depending on when I release this video, Donald Trump would have just left or is about to leave office and Obviously, with him being replaced by Joe Biden, Donald will no longer have any communication with Vladimir Putin. Now, Trump and Putin are best friends. They're like brothers. They truly love each other. So, them breaking up is obviously a very emotional thing for them. So, I figured I should make a video about what their real final phone call must have been like. So, I'm very excited to make this video because I love doing these political satires and since I made so many of them during election season, I figured I should do an inauguration day special about Trump leaving office. So I can't wait to make this video, I think it's going to be so funny, and I can't wait to film it. So without further ado, let's get started. Vladimir Putin, this is President Donald J. Trump. I don't like how I said my name. DJT in the house! And I forget what else to say. Well, Vladdy Bear, as you know, we won the 2020 election, but I'm holding my phone way too far away from my ear. But then the radical left said, hold my beer. And they stole it by voting. And I forget what else to say. Donnie Man. I do not like how that sounded. Very inspiring words, sir. You never fail to leave me in awe. Something I shall miss when sleepy Joe Biden takes office. That sounded weird at certain points. Well, that's not gonna happen. It's too soon to give up the fight. I don't know why I did this with my head. Excuse me. The media does not declare a, a, a blah. But the Electoral College all voted to confirm his win. I don't know why I did this midway through the line. An election is not over. Until the vice president, I'm doing this horribly. A fighter till the very end. Very inspirational, I said very twice. You know, cutie pooty. On the 0.01% chance, which is a very strong number. I said strong and not small. Oh my god, this guy's crazy. And I do not like how I did that. Such powerful words, they call it great words. And I forget the rest of my line. But it's still inspirational to a lesser sort of extent. And I forget the rest of my line. You absolutely do, Donnie Bear. And no matter what happens next, I forget. Get what to say next. Me pause volies voy nezini. Proiti memo me memo med. It's Russian. I don't know. Oh, Vladdy Bear. I don't know when I'm. I called him Vladdy Bear or not. Vladdy Pooh, which was the right nickname for this clip. Well, I have no doubt that you will continue to make my country great again. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be crying to this extent. Donald, I'm scared! Over the next four years, Sleepy Joe is going to bully me! And I was not supposed to bring my hand down like that. I know, but just know that on behalf of our trillion MAGA members, I forget the rest of my line. Oh, Donald! And again, that was just too much. You're not my Donald! That was terrible. Hey guys, so for those of you who have seen my other political satires, you know that before now, I only really had one political mask that I was using for my impersonations, and that was the Donald Trump mask. But I figured that for Hanukkah, I should probably get a few more political masks since I want to start doing more of these types of videos given how much fun I had with them during election season. And also, since Donald Trump is not going to be president anymore, he is not going to be in the national spotlight as much. Especially since he got banned from Twitter. <laughs> so I'm going to need more crazy and weird looking political masks to replace the void that is now being left by Trump. 
And so as you saw from this video, we now have a Vladimir Putin mask. So he's not Donald Trump, but he's the next best thing. So we have this mask to use now for when I impersonate Vladimir Putin with my very realistic sounding Russian accent. And I also have this Joe Biden mask that you saw me wearing uh, towards the end of the video. And even though I did not wear it for this video, for Christmas I made a holiday sketch over on my second channel, Carter and Blake, that was called Santa on Trial. So if you have not already seen it, you know what to do. Go to my second channel, Carter and Blake, and watch Santa on Trial. And in that video, I played a character that was an elf version of Senator Bernie Sanders. And so for Hanukkah, I got all these crazy and funny and weird looking masks that will now join the Trump collection and I will use when I make my political satires. So, it's a party! So that's a wrap on our very strong video, but that's not a surprise. I hope you all enjoyed it in a very strong, very patriotic way. And if you didn't like it, then you hate our country and should leave. But now that production on this video has wrapped, Rudy and I are going back to fighting the very real election fraud and have no time to stick around with my trillions of adoring fans. So I'm gonna go now. I thank you all for watching. I love you. You're very special. And I'll see you all in jail. Goodbye. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching this week's new sketch. To see the main video, then watch Trump and Putin's final goodbye, and to see the previous sketch, then watch Blake Returns to Therapy and the Behind the Scenes for that The Clip Show sequel Behind the Scenes, and to see the previous video, then watch Reacting to My Old Comic Books 15. Also, to see the previous political satire we made, then watch Presidential New Year's Address. All of the links for these videos will be in the description below. So thank you all so much for watching, I love you all so very much, and I will see you all next Friday in a brand new sketch. Bye! So, since this is the final political satire of the Trump era, I feel like I have to pay tribute to my previous political satires, and very strongly do one last... Excuse me! Excuse me!